And when full daylight came at last, they all got to their feet and stretched their poor cramped bodies. And then the Santa Pete, who always seemed to see things first, shouted, Look, there's land below. He's right, they cried, running to the edge of the beach and peering over. Hooray, hooray. It looks like streets and houses. But how enormous it all is. A vast city glistening in the early morning sunshine lay spread out 3,000 feet below them. At that height, their cars were like little beetles crawling along the streets, and people walking on the pavements looked no larger than tiny grains of soot. But what tremendous tall buildings, exclaimed the ladybird. I've never seen anything like them before in England. Which town do you think it is? This couldn't possibly be England, said the old green grasshopper. Then where is it? asked Miss Spider. You know what those buildings are, shouted James, jumping up and down with excitement. Those are skyscrapers, so this must be America. And that, my friends, means that we have crossed the Atlantic Ocean overnight. You don't mean it, they cried. It's not possible. It's incredible. It's unbelievable. Oh, I've always dreamed of, of going to America, cried the centipede. I had a friend once who... Be quiet, said the earthworm. Who cares about your friend? The thing we've got to think about is how on earth are we going to get down to earth? Ask James, said the ladybird. I don't think that should be so difficult, James told them. And we'll have to do is cut loose a few seagulls. Not too many, mind you, but just enough so that the others can't quite keep us up in the air. Then down we shall go slowly and gently until the pitch until we reach the ground. Centipede will bite through the strings for us one at a time.